Hello, this is Panos Kakaviados. I'm in Washington, D.C. It's the 18th of January. There's a metro bus. Um, and we're in DuPont Circle. It's actually pretty, fairly warm for a winter January day. There's no snow. It was sunny. I'm walking over to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, where Eric Daramon of Chateau Fijac will be joining us for a vertical of 11 vintages of Chateau Fijac going from 1986 to 2009. Nice. Oh, did it. Excellent. Score one for the sommelier. I get a lot of mineral. I mean, from all of these, I, I get a really nice sense of like this mineral rocky earth. Um, in the younger wines, of course, the primary fruit, but the, the thing that just really strikes me is um, these wines smell and taste like wines smell and taste when I'm in Bordeaux, which um, that, that intense rocky minerality, um, lovely secondary florality of, of um, kind of just uh, the softest hint of rose petal and uh, just a touch of violets, you know, very soft florality. We uh, um, never go to uh, more than 13.5% in alcohol, uh, when uh, even in 09, uh, where uh, people went to 15. So uh, I want to keep this uh, freshness, this acidity, which gives the wines uh, uh, a pleasure of drinking. And uh, we have it with the 04, we have it with the 01. 01 for the moment is the best balance we have. Uh, 2000, uh, I was fearing to go too far in maturity, so uh, I stopped maybe a little uh, too early. Uh, which means that it will need time uh, to settle, and we we are back to a certain old style uh, of, uh, of wine. Uh, that's interesting in terms of uh, uh, the, the the quality of the vintage. And 05, uh, when I did it, uh, I was saying to my neighbor that uh, uh, I thought that was the best wine I would ever made in my uh, make in my life. And then arrive 06, and then arrive 08, and then arrive 09, 09 and 10. Uh, I'm Kathy, what do you think so far? Um, I think these are fantastic, elegant wines. Uh, I, it's seamless winemaking in almost every vintage. My favorites of, of each flight have been the 01, the 95, and the 86. Amazing food wines, um, wines I could drink all day, um, beautiful balance, freshness, um, complexity. Wonderful wines. Um, there have been some other standouts as well. I think the 98 is going to be an incredible wine in five more years, maybe a few more years, just a little bit young right now. Um, the 05 is a little bit uh, tight right now as well, but also showing great promise. Uh, my two top wines thus far have been the 95 and the 2001. I think the 2001 is just ready, open for business. Uh, it's stunning how fresh it is for an 11 year old wine. To me about the 95 is just, you know, how kicking and how alive it is and how much potential you see and how you know a wine like that will just last forever and ever and ever. So great. it's been fantastic so far. Every wine has been good. No duds. Fijac is kind of our white knight in the sense that it never played the game. It wasn't worried about how many points that it got from a certain person from Moncton. It wasn't worried about um, how it would show in a, a tasting of 60 wines in a row because it's built to age. It's not built to, to show bombastic style. I'll say that uh, these, these pose some real challenges. The 01, the 05, you know, the 98. These are probably the most accessible commercially. And the challenge is going to be laundering the purchases and smuggling them into my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to be buying this anymore. <laughs> so here we are at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. We're having, we're having a second to last flight. We're having an 86 and a 90. Um, the 90 is very rich and opulent. The 86 is more streamlined. And I think has a little more depth and intensity because Fijac has a lot of Cabernet. So we have a lot of intensity in this 86. And a lot of people think 86 is not a you know right bank vintage, but 
because Fijac has a lot of Cabernet, it's kind of like considered the Medoc of saint emilion And the proof is in the taste of the 86. It's really nice. Um, the 90, we also had a problem with one of the bottles. It was a bit dusty, tan, and you know, some thought it might have been cork, but I don't think it was cork. It was just very dusty and kind of a little bit not as fresh. But we're having a great time, as you can see. A lot of people eating and drinking and just, you know. And I want to say thanks to MacArthur Beverages for bringing those two bottles of crew because we started out with some lovely crew. So many thanks to MacArthur.